top of that developing story, an investigation into how this plane crashed just moments after taking off in McKinney today, where two people died, has officially started. We've got our Jason Allen, who's been near the crash site for the duration of the day. Uh, you're not too far away. This is just off airport property, right? Yeah, it, it is, Doug, and I measured this out earlier. It's, it's probably less than a half a mile uh, from the airport, and we've been continuing to work on this here over the, over the last hour and determined there's definitely some close connections between this plane and at least three nonprofit organizations, a couple of those in the city of Forney. I, about the last half hour, I talked with somebody in the city who said there's been a lot of concern about who was on board. There was even some concern this afternoon that a former city of mayor may have been one of those three people who was on board, but a city spokesperson told me they determined that the mayor was not one of those three people who was on the plane when it crashed at this rock and gravel business, which is the, the crash site just back here behind us. Let's go ahead and show you some video again from Chopper 11 where you can get some perspective of how that red and white Cessna, that two engine plane came down at the base of a pile of sand. And then there's video from the ground as well that shows it upside down, almost fold in half, some evidence of a fire on at least part of that plane. A DPS confirmed for us two people on board were killed, but there was a third person who survived the initial crash and was taken to Parkland Hospital. So we know the plane was registered to a nonprofit organization called Hunger Relief Ministries, and the founder of that group also had connections to a women and children's crisis center. And the plane was also used to fly charitable missions, including taking food and supplies to West Texas, taking ministry staff on trips, However, that organization that arranged many of those flights told me today that the plane was not on one of those trips today. Now, many of the public safety agencies, police and fire, they have cleared the scene, but the National Transportation Safety Board, Doug and Nicole, we're still expecting them to be out here tonight to investigate exactly what it was that caused that plane to crash. And as Doug said earlier, we are thinking about the families involved. Jason, we appreciate the update.